Hello and welcome to Movie Theater Time Machine, the show where we keep it real to real. Hey guys, so, um, we, uh, the cast right now, we're all battling various illnesses. As you can tell with my voice, I'm a little bit more raspy than usual. So, um, we were going to do Odd Couple this week, and Kaz and I were going to take care of it ourselves. However, we, um, it was just too good to, to not wait for a little bit, you know, so rather than give, not giving you a show this week, we wanted to go ahead and, um, we wanted to go ahead and do a look back. You know, we have a large, large amount of movies and we went back to episode 50 of our first Jack Lemmon movie that we looked at, Some Like It Hot. And this was the last episode we ever did with 59 Media Studios. And uh, you might hear some references and things uh, that were, you know, that are obviously out of date. But this is back in going now almost 2018. Oh, God, a very different world. So... Next week, we are going to have The Odd Couple, hopefully with everybody all together, and we are also, um, we're going to extend Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau uh, through the month of February, um, but we might give like a little bit here and there and other things, so this should be really fun for you, but you know, enjoy this episode, it's a really funny one, um, you also hear Max as well, um, and the, what happened in uh, packing up our old time machine. So um, enjoy it, and uh, yeah, enjoy that. Here's the show. Welcome to the Movie Theater Time Machine Podcast. I'm your announcer, Max. Hey, today we got the fun one for you folks. 1959, Some Like It Hot, starring Marilyn Monroe, Tony Curtis, and Jack Lemmon. And you know, this, this the other podcast you have, it's Movie Theater Time Machine. We have a screen where we pull people from the year the movie was released, and we send them right back later, and nobody really figures out what we're doing. So we have our friends, Kaz, Nick, Jocelyn, and Dan here to be able to help out and have some fun. We're and actually in the studio this time after two weeks of disgusting cold. Yeah, no <laughs> kidding. Oh my God, Woo! yeah, it's right. I like it hot frozen. to you. <laughs> I, I, I would yeah, prefer you it right too, now. Yeah, you too, know, yeah. the irony? Is on one of those real cold days, uh, the Facebook news feed popped up something about what being 117 degrees in Sydney, Australia. It's like, yeah, true. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on over here. Sub zero shit. Yeah. Just mix the two together. <laughs> right. Feel like a yeah. balmy 72. <laughs> or, or it would turn into one of those, that what, bomb cyclone <laughs> thing? Or whatever. I'm sorry, the fuck still that sounds was. A, what a bomb cyclone still sounds like a fruity drink. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have it. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd try it. <laughs> something it's JD frozen. on Scrubs would order. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I love the bomb cyclone. What do you have? I'll just have a freaking bear. It would be like green or blue or, or pink or red. Yeah, it would be true. like turquoise. Yeah, oh, true. Oh, like electric lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want a drink, but it's it like makes my <laughs> glands feel weird or whatever like it, that is. Like it actually glows. It's like, <laughs> wait a minute. It glows. <laughs> Uh, it, it's Nuka Cola Quantum, the booze <laughs> dump edition. All right, so we're gonna try a new segment here. Something I figured out that I haven't told oh. anybody here. Uh, 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 what? Here, here. What? I have a few headlines from the year 1959. All two right. are made. Uh, two are made up, and one is fake. All right. Well, uh-huh. <laughs> we get to guess. Yeah, you get to guess which one is actually the real one. Kay. Are we gonna give a moment for the audience to? Yes. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> okay. The Twilight Zone premieres. Gas has risen up to 27 cents. Ooh. <laughs> Fidel, pa- F- I'm sorry. Fidel Castro comes to power. I know this that. This is from 59? 1959, mm-hmm. yeah. You should label them one, two, and three first. Hmm. Well, um, those there, yeah. I just was looking up Cuban cigars to see if for, an, for a thing, so um, for, for the show, and... That I read that he did come to power in '59, so it, that one's true. So All number right, three so is true. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess the fake one. My guess is the gas. 
Yes. It's too Aha. vague. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, gas was going was going up, but it was a total of fifteen cents. The Twilight Zone actually did premiere. Yeah, that's where I was. That point. So uh, also interesting points. Hawaii became the fiftieth state. Yep. And the Boeing jet airliner seven hundred seven made its debut Mm. in Cuba. Yeah. I don't know what kind of plane that is. Besides the most common one we see now, really. Yeah. Oh, just a bit smaller. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, So the um. Also, one of the interesting in the things in the 50s was they advertised, I believe, that same year, uh, it could be a year off, actually, a flight from the UK to a nonstop to Sydney, Australia. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Which took seven days. Jesus. <laughs> See, and Wait, ba- what? And back then, getting on a plane was like this big thing. Right. You got dressed up. You had a suit. You had your you had yeah. your fedora. <laughs> not your milady style medora, fedora. An actual fedora. Yeah. Like back in the day when it was legit. And <laughs> it was like just a thing. Now you get on a plane and it's like walking into Walmart. It's just gonna get sweaty anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry. The last time I got on a plane, I was wearing sweatpants and like flip flops because yeah. I just didn't care. Although to to be fair, I haven't been on a plane in 20 years. So. Yeah. Well. Uh, last time, I, well, uh, every time I have to get on a plane, I have to get so drugged up because I get extremely airsick. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was on a air. I was on a Southwest Airlines flight, and they had a symbol of the airplane wings with a heart in the middle. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh! I turned to my dad the first <laughs> time I had to do it. I looked at him I'm like, Dad, the heart is beating. <laughs> oh crap! <laughs> and he was like, Yeah, I know. And he had the same stuff I did. He's like, Yeah, just enjoy the flight, just dude. Dramamine. <laughs> woo, dramamine, woo. Yeah. Oh, I had a lot of dramamine that time. Yeah, how are yeah. you supposed to keep your clothes nice if you <laughs> if you're flying that fucking long, like yeah. cross continents? Yeah, true, true. Sometimes you need to just get away. Uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to think about like bathing facilities because at this particular point in time, they probably had them. Yeah, they probably yep. did really? have. Yeah, yeah, they probably did have a bathing facility on the airplane. Well, this was a nonstop flight. Yeah, nonstop flight. Yeah. So they probably had a bunch. I mean, a bunch of fuel. Yeah, I'd imagine it was a multi-level type, you know, plane probably. or something. Yeah. And or was it like one person trying to do quick. a record or something? No, it was no, no many people. Oh. At least that's what the article said. My God. So I hope they had many pilots. Yeah. You had to learn oh, to get yeah. along with people real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I hope yeah. no one farted. Because <laughs> that's going to hang or out with They you probably for a smoked week. in there. Oh, my yeah, God. Probably. Yeah, probably. Think yeah. about it. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I suppose they're ventilated. Yeah. It also depends on how high it got because I don't necessarily high. think it, w- it would get up to like 35,000 feet, but I could yeah. be wrong. Th- yeah, well, if it was yeah, if it was ten years later, it'd be a totally different kind of high. Yep. <laughs> 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 oh man, an airplane of hippies <laughs> getting <laughs> high and higher. <laughs> oh man. I think we should probably get to our point. Yes. <laughs> yeah. True. True. Well, it's for the banter here today. Yay! <laughs> so it's a good banter day. Yeah. So, um, quick announcement on this for people who are listening to. Um, this is going to be our last episode affiliated with 59 Media. We'll and while it's a little bit bittersweet, you know, there is some stuff we're not going to talk about just yet, but we will be back in the studio hopefully in the near future. So um, we're still going to give you an episode every week. Um, we're going to do that next week's episode. We have a very, very, oh very yeah. special guest. Finally, we got her. Yes. We got her. Finally, we got the old lady coming on. Special so. grandma episode. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, we got the one here who inspired the whole bloody thing. So She's old. She's got memories. We need to s- mine them <laughs> for posterity. That's and true. And put them in the internet. I have a feeling yeah. that if you want to get on her good side, just don't actually call her old. <laughs> no, she admits she's old. She's okay, like, okay. Yeah, she's like, no, what am I going to do? I'm old. I don't care. Like, oh, like well, all right. She's Your old one lady of the voice <laughs> sounds kind of like Mac. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, man? You're in front of me. Oh, uh, what's no, wrong dude, with being really. an old lady? Yeah. Is that an insult <laughs> or something to you? Because that's offensive. <laughs> no, to be <laughs> wise <laughs> and yeah. yeah. Well, one of my favorite mo- stories I like to tell anyway with her, like she just does not care at all. Like her, she has a friend of hers, Rose, that she used to be a neighbor with, and with her like walking the mall and they're like. She doesn't drive, so anytime I go over, like, Nick, can you bring me here? And I'm compelled to go ahead and bring right. her somewhere. Right. Yeah. So I um 
I brought her to the mall. Rose tagged along. I'm like, okay, yeah, this will be fun. These two are hilarious. They're half deaf, walking around, talking to each other, <laughs> screaming at each other. And, <laughs> we were t- <laughs> and we were talking about Frank Sinatra. Somehow it got to, you know, it got to that, you know. As you do. Yeah, it got to that <laughs> here. And then uh, it was over at FYE. We passed by there, and there was, like, Sinatra's. That still exists? At the time. Oh, still open. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, no, it's at gone. the time, yeah. yeah. I was going to say, that was so kind of coming apart. Pretty much, yeah. So there's a giant Frank Sinatra poster, and Rose turns to me, and she goes, Oh, look, there's a Frank Sinatra CD on there. And you know, my grandmother turns to Rose and goes, Rose, what the fuck would he want his VD over there for anyway? <laughs> I, I never heard your grandma say fuck. Oh, yeah, she does. Yeah. Oh. What the fuck? Like, everybody's looking. Like, I'm laughing hysterically. <laughs> and, like, and she pulls it, grabs my grandmother by the shirt, and goes right to the face, goes right to her face, goes, No, Lydia, CD. <laughs> No, you hear like all the people are laughing. They just don't give a shit <laughs> anymore. Like, eh, <laughs> fine. like they really, <laughs> like Frank we're in our 90s. We die tomorrow. Who cares? <laughs> Frank Sinatra's VD. That'd be some vintage <laughs> stuff, wouldn't it? <laughs> kind of stuff. An ooze or <laughs> probably a powder. <laughs> oh, jeez, this is getting <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> yeah, we really need to roll through here. We started it. <laughs> Boys are so gross. <laughs> 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 well, oh, technically, man. it's the old lady's fault. <laughs> yeah, true. true my, my apologies. <laughs> I just I couldn't let that go. Me neither. No, that's fine, that's man. Funny. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, so um, you yeah. And one last <laughs> thing before we get into the movie, I want to give thanks again to the Midwest Bostonian uh, Johnny Boston, who uh, he was absolutely kind enough to invite me on his show to be able to pimp the show out. Um, got a tremendous amount of subscribers for me. Wow. Thank you. Uh, we really, really check appreciate out our, uh, it. Yeah, our new YouTube. Thing. Yeah, definitely. Because that's where that's really where we're going. Yeah, a vlog thingy. Yeah, yeah, we're doing a daily vlog actually, Kaz and I. So this should be we really just, fun too. We've just been having some technical issues yeah. as we try to figure out how to get things between computers and. That. It's a mess. Oh, yeah, but we're fixing through it. We're fixing it. So They took SD card readers out of the computer I got, you know? Yeah. It's like, why didn't you build that in? My last laptop had that. Uh, yeah, Your so Mac has that. Right, yeah. So we have the... Um, the wave of the future. Yeah, <sighs> right. Yeah. I don't want everything necessarily on the cloud because what happens if the cloud goes up? Yeah, when right, that solar true. flare finally hits, the cloud goes away and we're all screwed. <laughs> right, yeah. Like, history might disappear. I read at least some historians <laughs> afraid of that. true. The history eraser button. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> ah, man. <laughs> so, um, I think at this point, you know, we want to be able to tell you, just, you know, go to the Chaos Fox and YouTube page. Also, if you're in the promo, check us out on Zazzle. Um, we have a lot of stuff to offer for you. Um, except to buy, because we'd love to have your money. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Simply, that's that. So, uh, you know, the reason why, you know, of course, I bring up Frank Sinatra, because it does get into the era of Marilyn Monroe. Absolutely. And, you know, it gets right into that character. And personally, like, Marilyn Monroe, I mean, herself and her story, you know, friend of the show, Karina Longworth, runs a podcast. You must remember this. She did a great series on Marilyn Monroe's life, her transition from Norma Jean to Marilyn Monroe, and eventually her death, mm-hmm. which was fascinating as hell. I I liked her in this movie. Yeah, she was. Yeah, fun. it's here. I just I've never really been a huge fan. I never saw her as a sex symbol. I saw her as a beautiful woman. Yeah. But her acting has always been a little meh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, true. But that's true. that's me. Yeah. Uh, I'll admit until yesterday I'd never actually seen a Marilyn Monroe movie. Me yeah. <coughs> and every time I've been talking about this movie, I've been screwing up and s- saying Marilyn Manson instead. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Is that yeah. your fantasy casting you were gonna <laughs> Yes. <laughs> my <laughs> fantasy <laughs> casting replace her with Brian Warner, leave the rest alone, it becomes an entirely <laughs> different movie. Can we can we have Alice Cooper in there too? <laughs> no, 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 no. Seriously, just replace her with Marilyn Manson. <laughs> oh, wow. Same lines, same everything else, but it's just him. <laughs> And that makes the boat scene real different. (laughs) 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 You know? I was thinking about that at work today and kind of creeping myself out. (laughs) (laughs) Do I do something for you? (laughs) Do I? (laughs) I'm (laughs) sugar. Then who gets to be bacon?
chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, now I'm thinking I'm Twiggy. butter. <laughs> <laughs> what was that from? Was that Married with Children? Married with Children. That was uh, Al's mother-in-law. The phone sex <laughs> operator. That was one of their best <laughs> episodes. I'm butter. Uh, <laughs> it's me, butter. <laughs> oh god! Some people pay extra for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I'm thinking about eating food. Oh god! Oh god! Now man. I have this weird <laughs> want of pancakes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Why, right? I know. I was thinking, man, we watch this movie during the day. We should have something special to eat, like pancakes <laughs> with chocolate chips. <laughs> or yes, uh, my But no. I I don't know. We yeah. had technical problems or something. Yeah, it's it's, it we was weird. We have to pass the supermarket on the way home. Yeah, um, <laughs> we can get pancakes. We could. We could also go to IHOP. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Do yeah. something. Yeah, I did. <laughs> All right, well, we get on to everything. <laughs> see how we're doing. Uh man, we had to pack up this old girl. So uh, pack up the machine when we're done tonight. So mm. bring it on home. I'm gonna get this up to the third floor. Uh. One step at a time, like uh, rock it back and forth. Rig yeah. Up rig up an elaborate pulley system. Yeah. Like yeah. a piano. Yeah, that, we'll try something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Grab yeah, a bunch one. of your friends <laughs> and just assembly line it up the <laughs> stairs. Like yeah. I, will, I will pay you in pizza. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah, yeah. We'll eat it all before. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I want pizza now. <laughs> yeah, Damn me it. too. You make Hungry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Sorry, well, I'm still so on no, pancakes. <laughs> no. <Aww>. All right. <laughs> so let's jump on in. Let's do. We got dust off do. the machine. Yeah. Oh, we're good. You know, it's been a little while, but it's still running. Max, is it running all right? Yeah, it's really good. You know, I spent last week over at Bob's. It's been pretty fun. I hope you didn't back into it or something. <laughs> no, no, no. Bob actually showed me those special channels here to switch oh, the things for. Oh, oh, to switch the things for it. not not other kinds of special channels. <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, the National Geographic is pretty fascinating. Um, yeah, I guess. Uh, Nat, Nat Geo is a good show, a good channel, I think. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it's kind of an awkward, sh- short abbreviation, but yeah. Yeah, there's one with all those people making weird noises on the TV too. Oh, yeah. Um, you ever seen Animal Planet? Y- yeah, yeah. It's used to. <laughs> That's awesome, man. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. All right. Let's jump on in. Let's get the machine rolling. Let's see where we are. Let's get automatic. And, oh, let's have a fun one. Yeah. <laughs> stick him up. Yeah, stick him up, right? Don't anybody move. Nope. Um, I don't think this is the first time this has happened. Yeah, we have we've done this before, really. I, I mean, think it's we were stuck up with a butter knife. Yeah, yeah, yeah we were stuck up with was a butter knife. It stuck up with a remote one time, and that time cop got confused. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah hate, hate to break it, but it's not the first time I've had a gun pointed. Yeah, at no, you. no, no, we're we're pretty good here. I mean, you're, Sorry yeah. about that. Yeah. <laughs> We're a federal government employee in the role of the building. I think we're going to be okay. <laughs> so <laughs> you here to inspect? I this is the procedure. I don't remember it being like this before. Usually they come to our place, not bring us to their place. This is a little weird for me too. Yeah, what color y'all so, here? Uh, what do you want? Well, you're actually here as a part of the Movie Theater Town Machine podcast, and you just saw the movie Some Like It Hot, starring uh, starring Marilyn Monroe, Tony Curtis, and Jack Lemmon in 1959. And you come over here to review the movie here in our studio, so we go ahead and see how you felt about that. And by the way, you're in the year 2017. We're not going to talk anything. What? What's a podcast? Oh, a podcast is like a radio station. Wait, I didn't get any of these. What happened? We're in the future, and this isn't a raid. Yeah, is but we're it? not really good. No, no, no. It's not, not definitely not, not a raid. But you know, we because, have. Because you know, we just stock um, plenty of pizza sauce. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. Yes, absolutely regular. Yeah, we got all that it's for just you. Guys. Home style and uh, very wholesome. I think so. Just like mm-hmm. Mama used to make. So well, we that's definitely true. We don't want to tell them about the mushrooms, then. No. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> no, I have to the rank all the United diet. Nope. You have my attention. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, I, I'm with N- you. Yeah. No, we, no, we don't. Yeah. <laughs> this was a. a These a are not the droids you're looking for. You know, a movie <laughs> that we, we saw the movie. These are not the shrooms you're looking yeah. for. <laughs> well, I think you know, we'll shrooms see what's going on here. One of yeah. which, one of which trademark. 
no, it was a good movie. It was a good movie. Yeah. Oh, you had fun with it? I yeah. loved this movie. This movie was great. The yeah. dish was so funny. Now, what kind of, uh, <laughs> what kind of, um, what do you need to, are you looking for a pride before you send us home? No, we're actually just going to walk through the movie, just kind of see how it is, review the movie, and then get your opinion on it as well. That, that's it? Yeah. That, that's all you, you uh, used that, that little uh, machine over there for? It's worked for about 44 out of the 50 episodes, yeah. That's it? You just want a radio show? Yeah. It's working and people love it. We're simple folks. Right? Do, do, do you they love everybody to be? Huh. Uh, I think we need to do I something about this. I think we need to be really careful right now. Do, so you know, we can careful. you know hear what you're saying. One y- foot after If you whisper in front of the microphone, it's not really a whisper. That's true. This thing's a microphone. <laughs> it is, yeah. I know it kind of looks like a robot penis, but uh, you won't understand that reference. <laughs> I'm not going to stand directly in front of it then. All right. Yeah. Oh, special. So, no. should we give right. a summary of this movie? Yeah. It's 1929, and during the starts out of the city of Chicago in the Prohibition era. Just to, to clarify, the movie's 1959, but I guess it's a historical yeah. picture taking <coughs> place in Prohibition times. And piece. we have two of the uh, two band members who are trying to go ahead and flee from uh, from the mafia, so they take <laughs> a job down in Florida dressed as women <laughs> to <laughs> try to get away. Mafia. Yeah. How funny. <laughs> 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 oh, my no, my no, no. <laughs> Nasty. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, well, we just jumped through this one. So, all right. So, in the end, I like the, pr- the funeral home. It, it yeah. It, it opens with a hearse. Yeah. <laughs> and I like how the cops shoot the hearse. And then, the, like, there's a bunch of booze in there. Oh, it looks like water. It's like, yeah. wait, what? Yeah. Coming out of the coffin holes. <laughs> I got some formaldehyde flowing uh, out yeah. there. Someone did a real <laughs> terrible job. Oh, yeah. Wait. I thought, I thought at first, I'm like, okay, did they just go ahead and grab the body that they threw in the Jersey River? I'm like, uh, uh, oh, okay. No. Say, nope, the, booze. The, no. the, uh, the thug that was riding shotgun, I don't, this, <coughs> this is going to be kind of a deep nerd. I don't know if I- either one of you noticed it. He go looks ahead. like Miles O'Brien from Deep Space Nine. Star Trek oh Deep Space Nine. looks like Miles O'Brien's him. like dad. Like really severe yes. dad. <laughs> So yes. I every time he was on screen, I was really distracted, just wondering, <laughs> like, you know, since that show's been over, Miles O'Brien is probably still suffering somewhere because <laughs> the universe <laughs> hates him. I was busy thinking later man. on the old man pervert guy. I was like, Zowie. He looked, yeah, I thought he looked a little like William H Macy, yeah. just a little, but with just a big <laughs> mouth, just a, a little proto William H Macy. Yeah. yeah. The one yeah. thing I noticed about this particular scene is the amount of bullet holes that show up. <laughs> My first reaction was, somebody in that car got shot. Yeah. How did they all walk <laughs> out just perfectly and fine? And none of the cops got hit either. Nobody got e- hit. Everyone went to the, to the Stormtrooper School of I was going to say, <laughs> this is the origin of the Stormtrooper. This yeah. is yeah. how it started. <laughs> Either that or they all tried to go... Uh, it was the guy who attacked Jules Walker in Pulp Fiction right? at the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who the hell? <laughs> Bam! He came out here with a hand cannon. <laughs> yeah. A spoonful of... A spoonful of... Uh, Delicious pasta sauce would make anybody get up and keep on walking. A spoonful of marinara makes mm-hmm. everyone sit down. And feel no pain. That's true. It does about a good. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, maybe uh, you should uh, s- trademark that phrase, huh? Yeah. Might, might come in handy. Yeah. Yeah, you might get a few dollars every now and then, I think, yeah. So we have, there we have Joni, Joe, who's played by Tony Curtis, who's an irresponsible jazz saxophone player, gambler, ladies' man, and his friend, Jack Lemon, who plays Jerry, who's a sensible jazz double bass player, working at Speakeasy, disguised at a funeral home known as Mozzarella's <laughs> Funeral Home. Oh, I want to eat pizza. Yeah. Now, saying that Jerry is sen- I, I think we need to put the word sensible in, in air quotes. quotes. <laughs> yeah. Because he still hangs out with Joe and listens to Joe. Yeah, it's yeah. Like the, he, he gives some really great ideas. He is a really good, <laughs> like, this is a really, really bad <laughs> thing to do, yeah. but he still follows. Yeah. yeah. The whole thing We're going to go ahead and borrow money from the girls, right? Yeah, the whole overcoat 
overcoat thing. It's like we're gonna pawn our overcoats and you're gonna bet it on the dogs. And it's then you freezing. let him bet it on the dog. Why? <laughs> I don't know where else were they gonna get money f- <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Save it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be the sensible <laughs> thing. Although all the debt they listed was like, yeah. you probably needed to double whatever you had right now, or else you were dead. Right. Yeah. They owe, well, remember they owed nineteen dollars in rent. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh wow, God nineteen dollars. I actually did the math when they were when they were trying to get the job and they have that one like out a hundred miles away out yeah. in the suburb. Some twelve dollar job. Yeah. Twelve dollars. I yeah. looked it up. Mm-hmm. In 2017 dollars, that 12 bucks is about 167 bucks. <gasps> They're oh. gonna drive 100 miles for less than for less than two bills. <laughs> Still have five more cases. Yeah. That'd be a lot of marinara. Mm-hmm. Mm. Herbs and spices too. Especially when we get done with the violin cases. Maybe there'll be about 13 herbs and spices. I think you're right, Sarah. We have to add another spice. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Are you sure that's not too many? I think no. that I, I think you could always use some more spices. Yeah. A little bit of flavor ain't well, so well, bad, yeah. What what would you say the spices do to the sauce? Is it is it like uh I don't know if you have KFC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but they have pretty much a lot of herbs and spices and, and that's good. Does so it does it kick it up a notch? Yeah. Yeah. Bam. Does it have effect? <laughs> What's a KFC? Uh, I'm up on my mind. Uh, yeah. uh, f- future stuff. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> um, nothing to do with kebab chicken fries. Because so. I would like to know what kind of special effects. You know, what what are the special healing properties that this sauce has? Well, is, is it a special a jar? You do. Oh. Oh my God! I'm hungry. Even though I kind of ate a sandwich, but it was a little few hours ago. Let me try it. Let me try it. Okay. <laughs> Snake oil brand pasta. Is it, oh. is, is, it, is it okay to just drink it? Can you just go... Go for it. Why not? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm no, going to no, put no, my no. hand in it? No, no, no. Just slowly. And j- maybe a teaspoon at a time. How the hell can you have that in a lasagna or pasta? Well... It's drugs. It's drugs. I knew it. It's drugs. Trying to kill me. Trying to kill me, even though you didn't know we were going to abduct you through time. Well Called who it. Who just drinks straight from the jar <laughs> pasta? Well, d- d- there's no yeah. pasta here, is there? I don't, I don't know. No, no. Uh, and I'm, I'm saying that like I haven't been caught doing that. <laughs> 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 well, that's how bears, like, isn't that how Winnie the Pooh? He kind of sticks his hand in there. In the I honey, mean, yeah. It's good enough for Winnie the Pooh. It's Winnie good enough Poo- for human Winnie people. Winnie the Pooh kind of sticks his everything in the honey jar. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Is that a euphemism? <laughs> Technically. <laughs> Is the honey jar the vagina or the butt? I mean, he's not wearing <laughs> pants. <laughs> and I read somewhere. <laughs> okay. This co- I I could be mistaken on this. Let's I stay could on be the movie, but go ahead. I could be falling for a troll, but I read somewhere that Winnie the Pooh <laughs> is supposed to be f- supposed to be female. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So the yeah. well, pants thing is after. even weirder. <laughs> what equal opportunity nudity? Donald Duck can do it. Then so can Daisy. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. Uh, yeah, sure. All right, so we're on this movie here. So we have there the um, we're in the in the mozzarella funeral home. <laughs> It's a real Which easy place. <laughs> 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 Which I just can't believe. Like, okay, everything is cheese filled or like cheesy breadsticks or cheese filled pizza. Cheese filled dead people? Yeah. Oh. Uh, That's what happens. Uh, <laughs> you need to I'm not going to break over a mozzarella stick and think of the same thing ever again. Oh, God. The next time Corey has mm. mozzarella Simpsons sticks, penis? I'm not going to be able to think <laughs> of the same way. <laughs> oh a whole man! New, it's a whole new term to crematorium. That's <laughs> all. You know, that would actually, actually, you should be happy you can't think of anything else because you kept thinking like Simpsons penis. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yeah. True. There yeah. You go. Well, yeah. Now you have two choices of what's more unpleasant to think of. <laughs> <laughs> so the joint's raided and that's tipped off by the police by Toothpick Charlie, I played by George E. Stone. I want to know what kind of insulation that place had to keep in all that sound. <laughs> right. That right. Yeah. Then sound he opens the door and suddenly yeah. whoosh. Oh, yeah. and that is some hot jazz. That's that's awesome. That was good. That's that was good. Pr- that's soundproofing that YouTubers wish they had. <laughs> 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 Lots of egg cartons. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> true. So the uh, Jerry flees, and they go ahead, they get out there, but, um, you know, um, Spats, who owns the place, played by a guy named George Rath, he Spats does, Columbo. He does wear Spats, and... 
Yeah, well, I, I would like to see Columbo investigate his ass. Just <laughs> for there's got to be a joke in there. Yeah, Put it true. together yourself, IKEA joke. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag. Now, Colum- Columbo is the uh, just one more thing, guys. Yeah, yes. right. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah. Now, one part we want to mention is just the beginning of the the beginning of this raid. You have the drunk guy spilling <laughs> because he needs more. Go. Ah, I want my cup of coffee. <laughs> And he spills his coffee all over Spats' spats. Yeah. Yeah. But he never cleans the spats until the end of the movie either. Well, there's there's one scene where he's taking like a. a He takes a handkerchief handkerchief and like. Yeah. What are you supposed to do when somebody spills coffee on it or liquor or whatever? Yeah. Well, I would think you'd have more than one pair. And he apparently sent the drunk guy to go get tortured for a little while. Right. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. And um, also. I mean, with all that being said, too, like he he, there's several scenes where you see him walk in and he's introduced. You know, he's introduced like you see his feet first, and right. you still see that coffee stain, right? Uh. You know, vaguely through it. So it's like I'm like, did you do better? He only has the one pair. Yeah, he's supposed to be a mobster, but he he's just so married to this one pair. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that's it. Just say uh, seriously, this is my thing, and I'm gonna stick to it. Here. Well, they call me spats. You can have more than one pair of spats. No, I can't. Yeah. Or like that spat? one, yeah, that, <laughs> that it's one thing. It's better than an yeah. ironic nickname like Tiny being a giant guy or something. Yeah. Where did that come from? Yeah. But, you know, in the, Irony. Yeah, through this, you know, they go, they Probably. get a job, and, you know, they're walking through the doors. Yeah, you got anything to the agencies? And then he sees, uh, oh, actually. Everyone else gets arrested, but yeah. they have the force. They flee, yeah. Because the, the. <laughs> <laughs> they just go right behind the cops. The FBI yeah, guys. They go, well, they why would you secure the building? They I mean, were the only ones who figured it out ahead of time, too. Yeah. Like, hey, they look, saw that him putting a badge on. That yeah. guy's got a badge. We should yeah. probably That guy's get prepping out. a cigar yeah. using a badge. He is the <laughs> best undercover officer <laughs> ever. The only thing I found Hi, super I can't really say that. anything. <laughs> Shit. You wouldn't. What? No, carry on. Don't worry. Never be that. Never yeah. be that serious. No, no, I'm, I'm well, straight. No, I'm straight. Don't worry. Okay, Sarah. Yeah, okay. You'll be good. Yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. Yeah. yeah, I'll be fine. I don't know about this new girl. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's a little weird. I can't put yeah. my finger on it. Mm-hmm. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, she, well, this guess her a little odd. Yeah, I so can't put my finger on yeah. it. Yeah. They'll go ahead and... I think they're up to no good. Yeah. So I thought they were just honest drug dealers, but yeah. I think they might be in a mob. Yeah, me too. So they go ahead and they they uh, procure a deal. They need a sax player and a bass player, but th- I think yeah, th- this happened to be there. The 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 be- one of the better lines in this movie, you know here. Yeah, you're right. Your instruments are right. Your shape's not. Hmm? <laughs> my so my just one shape. agent. Yeah, <laughs> we can get in shape. Like no, you can't. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> great. Cause there's great back and forth with that. Well, well, I am in shape. No, you're not. No, that kind of shape. <laughs> <laughs> but here, but the, there's great back and forth with it. So they go ahead. They convince so the girl so that I can do that. You need to be girls. Yeah, I can't. I can't do that. <laughs> 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 the uh, you're perfect ex- except for one thing. What a vagina. The <laughs> 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 they. they I, I forgot. I was gonna say something. <laughs> oh, I like the lot of the. F- I like yeah. the quick banter and yeah. the back and forth. I feel like it's too, the, yeah. the beginning of the movie opened up pretty well, but then everything got weird and in the middle and uncomfortable. I just think it started off as like a oh, okay, this is this is gonna be a mob movie. All right, mm-hmm. that's fine. And then it just kind of goes, takes a really hard left turn. Yeah. And suddenly it's like, wait, where are we? <laughs> Why are we in Florida? <laughs> when did this rom com. Yeah. Kinda uh, turns in some ways to you. Yeah. I hate to say it, but it's kind of a typical like nineteen fifties rom com where mm. I've met you for three hours and I'm completely <laughs> in love with you. And then we talked about in our last week's episode. Yeah. That's huh. happened to me. Oh yeah, I'll be You've in love immediately. You, they they never have love at first sight in this uh time. Well, no, you have to be on the right app for that. Love it for app? swipe. <laughs> <laughs> I think he meant Abe. He's not too bright. No, I think these boys are a little. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that hand machine. What, what are you trying to imply? I say <laughs> knock him off and then grab that machine. Yeah, we can hear you still. You know so we can still hear you. Gosh, don't worry. I'll get this one, boy. I'll get these two brides, okay? But you're not smart, so you'll forget in 
three minutes. Oh, we and got Wiz. Wait, what yeah. are we talking about? We got Wiz. Let's keep with the movie here. So, uh, so we have the yeah. <laughs> so it's ready. They go ahead. Uh, they get some jobs. They're gonna go get the girl's car. They're gonna take off 100 miles down the road for a job that is twelve dollars. And what was it in today's terms? Like uh, it was like 167 dollars. Yeah. And they're gonna do that on 40 cents worth of gas. So <laughs> yeah. this is different right. from the the all girl band job. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, yes. that sounds like a yeah. porno genre. They learned about the all girl band job and. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's that's an incognito <laughs> search when I get home. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why is the history on private? Nothing. <laughs> but um, I, d- I don't want those targeted ads. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so the Spats and his henchmen, they find the car, and just so happen to be they're getting in the parking garage where these these mobsters are playing cards. They go grab the car, and then the henchmen come in from Spats and the gang, and they go ahead and have a St. Valentine's Day massacre, and they kill off Toothpick and his gang. Which is a complete throwback to uh, to Al Capone. Mm-hmm. Very much so, yeah. I think it was just a cheap knockoff. Yeah. <laughs> Capone operated mostly out of Chicago, too, right? Yeah, yeah he yeah. did, yeah. Yeah, he did. He had, uh, so... Uh, they don't have any money now, so they get a rush to get out of town. They take the job with Sweet Sue and her synth society. I can't. I could not keep up with yeah. That. yeah. Yeah. Syncopators or something. Societal right. syncopators, she, yeah. She had the Sweet ironic. Sue and the t- <laughs> she, she had the ironic nickname. <laughs> <laughs> so. So they decide to do it. They're dressed up as, gr- as women. They're going to go get the train down to Florida. And they meet the mail manager, Beanstalk, who he he just this poor bastard. This mm. He is just he is just the, the put upon Yeah. Just who just yells he at can't him? Beanstalk! <laughs> <laughs> well half the time this guy is blind. Yeah, yeah. well there's a reason for, for that yeah, later yeah. on. Yeah. But yeah. So I just I wanna point out a little Are bit we of in trivia. Florida yet? <laughs> 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 I do wanna put out a little bit of trivia here. Mm. Um when uh, Jack Lemon and um, Tony Curtis initially got the parts, they went to the costume department and dressed as women oh, yeah, and then walked that. around the lot to see if anybody would stop them or call them out for being dressed like, you know, men dressed like women. So they went to like a woman's room. They went and did stuff and nobody called them out. So they Get figured, the freak out seriously, of here. they went in, they, they walked around, nobody called them out on it. So they're like, all right, we can pass as women. This is awesome. And then they went on. <laughs> And they also took um, walking lessons uh, a male cabaret from a male dancer. cabaret dancer. I kind of dancer. figured but that. But Jack, yeah. Lemon, Jack Lemon halfway through went, no, I want to look like a dude who's trying to walk in women's, w- in women's shoes, a dude who's trying to pretend to be a woman walking in women's shoes. Yeah. And that's why if you watch Jack Lemon walk through this, he's uh, looks like he's bow-legged. Yeah. Like, how do they walk in these things? <laughs> <laughs> I was distracted by the. Uh, then late, later on, he's running in them. I thought it, the, the, yeah. the, the <laughs> one scene later on made me go. Thank you, sir. <laughs> he's, he's running Very in them later. To do. <laughs> Reminds me of a Boondocks episode. <laughs> <laughs> you never trust a hoe who can run in heels. <laughs> <laughs> so at this point, we have the ent- the entrance of Marilyn Monroe. Mm-hmm. The music reminded me of Tiny Tunes. A yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah a Immediately. Bit. The gangsters looked like wow. cartoon characters, wow. I think. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. The gangsters did look like cartoon characters <laughs> as well. Yep. <laughs> and, and so I'm like, okay, I'm like, where's Babs? <laughs> <laughs> where's no Babs in this? And uh, side note, too, actually, I think um, you both probably know this, and everybody is, but the entire series of Tiny Toons is now on Hulu. Yay! Huh. Yeah, I wonder if it still holds up. Oh, uh, well no. I watched the first few episodes, and I think it did. Yeah, you oh. think so? Uh, I think I think it's dated but fun. Oh, it's ah. still great. So it's yeah. still good. I, I liked Tiny Toons back mm. in the day, but I always preferred Animaniacs. Mm. Yeah, I just I just enjoyed mm. that one more. Mm. I, I enjoy both. both pair yeah. well together. Mm. Yeah. I enjoyed both. So they board the train, and then you s- so there's the the uh, the notice of sugar cane. Great title name here. <laughs> <laughs> so it's your heart thrilling. Oh God, look at the way she walks. <laughs> you know, she's got a but motor in there. <laughs> I, I, I hope he, they took care of you know boner prevention. <laughs> 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 Keep it 
it to your leg, boys. Give it to your leg. <laughs> tuck, boys, tuck. <laughs> well, where do you get this advice from without the internet? <laughs> uh, I'm guessing it's the woman at the uh, agency, and I'm guessing it's her clothes that they that they had. Too. Well, they probably they yeah. it from the girls. Yeah. So I'm assuming it's the girls from the uh, yeah the who are all in jail at this point. Jail, really, yeah. Yeah. they must have gotten bailed out. <laughs> I was like, must have been. We need to borrow your clothes. <laughs> Let's go get Esther's clothes. Esther's the biggest one. Yeah. She'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, honey, you're wearing a giant jumpsuit <laughs> right now. You're not going to need what's in your closet. Can I have your apartment key? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. No, don't worry. I got to go to Florida. It's like, no, I don't want to know where you hid that. It's, it's fine. No, no, I'm sorry. No, I don't also, worry. I like the fact that they mentioned that they got secondhand wigs. <laughs> it's like, we can't afford the good ones, so we'll go to the secondhand wig well, store. At, well, at that point, Is that they a thing? At that no. point, they had... Well, at that point, they had their over overcoats in hock. And it's like <laughs> the middle of winter. And oh, I'm sorry. Right. Those scenes with the driving wind and the snow, and they're just kind of like pushing past it. Yeah. I that that hit a little close to home. <laughs> I would uh, say so for you. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna date this episode. Last week was the <laughs> uh, the first week 2018 where we had the. <clears throat> Bomb, Bomb cyclone. cyclone. <laughs> Which, that's a drink I want to try. Yeah. But yes. we had insane <laughs> low temperatures, and I'm a mailman. I was stuck walking out oh in that God. nonsense. And when they're walking around and there's this driving cold, I'm just like, I feel you, man. <laughs> I feel you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can't feel my toes, but I feel yeah, you. Yeah. I, I can only, I'm, I'm glad that I said that fa that post came where like, hey, they, they got you all out of there. Yeah. They recalled everybody back. I'm like, oh, good. Because the first thing I thought of, I'm like, man, Dan's going to be like, the, yeah, the that was Dan's blizzard. really pissed off the, today. The blizzard was not fun. And then the like negative, like negative 12 degree wind chills for the next couple days afterwards. No. It that was Fahrenheit, fun. too. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't fun for me either. Uh, yeah. Celsius would have been even more impressive. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, true. So they're, they become enamored with sugar and they, and can, they compete for affection. While maintaining the disguise, and I love the scenes when they first come, <laughs> get onto the train, and they're like, "You broke one of my chests." <laughs> it's like you tore one. Like you tore the other one. Now help me fix it. Now, hey. my, now is it like, is it like coconut halves that he's got <laughs> like taped to his chest? Or did he go to a bra <laughs> store? No, I have a feeling that he probably did uh, what I've seen in other movies. Yeah. Which they did. Uh, they took stockings. Tied them up and put like uh, socks or whatever in them and hung them around <laughs> their necks so it looks like they're right there. It, uh, Robin Hood Men, Men in tights, tights did that. Yeah, ah. it yeah, it was Blinken. That's yeah. I have a feeling yeah, that's Blinken, what you're they sideways. Did. Oh. And uh -huh. that's why when he said it tore, it's yeah. like, oh, well, I lost this half. <laughs> oh, I lost this half now. Good job, dude. <laughs> Oh, yeah. remember when, when we had to go bra shopping for your role in the play? Oh, God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's an image. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> it was difficult. Uh, yeah. You can't find clothes. Uh, drag is hard if you can't, because, you know, the clothes sizes are all wonky. Oh, true. You just true. need to go to I'm the right say, store. <laughs> true, I'm, just, I'm just picturing Try finding a tiny suit, because yeah. fuck <laughs> dresses in the winter, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You're saying, those who know Nick, I'm just picturing him trying on. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> yeah. try it on. We just, just grabbed gotta it. Go to, you know, you got to go to Victoria's Secret and get <laughs> measured properly. You know? <laughs> you know? You didn't there's, have there's a proper way to do these things, people. You didn't, oh. have, you didn't have the 80s fashion montage where he's in the dressing room, keeps coming out, and out. <laughs> Fits and you're oh, just shaking yeah. your head. And it's like you need that. Sharp dressed man, I think, was playing that day oh. over the radio too. So that was really now good. He just grabbed it and yeah, went. yeah. Oh, it no. was yeah, it was like in some bargain bin, and it was like a giant one. I'm like, yeah, this okay. Oh, yeah, good enough. <laughs> no. no, it was. And it just makes me go, no, yeah. no, people, measure, measure, yeah. measure. Over the shoulder, boulder, hold it. Yeah, I was oh, stuffing socks in there to try to be able to do that. It looked like a got some nasty dig marks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was weird. I remember the one thing, like, it was a quick set. We'll just explain to you know, the listeners what we're talking about. We did a play in 2005, and it was a part of one of our original production companies, um, that we had it was called Division by Zero, and it's not on the internet, so have your fill try to find it. Um, but it's not there. So um, I had to play a character called Emma Stein, and mainly we were having casting issues. And I was the uh, the uh, the wife of the one of the main stars, Francis Stein, who was played Hi. by Cass. 
And I was the creator. <laughs> yeah, no, you did the whole thing, yeah. So, uh, therefore, <coughs> I was the creator in this yeah. thing. I yeah, I, I true. I Frankenstein myself up from a kid. True, went to yeah. High school. True, and it's basically the Frankenstein story, except the monster goes to high school later with fun or other results, too. But there was a, there was the first day on... Um, <laughs> On there, I'm wearing this long jean dress that had snaps in the front, <laughs> and I'm in the bathroom, standing in front of the urinal. I'm in the wig. I have the garb. I have the entire Emma Stein garb on, and it just this actually made me think of this movie, you know, yeah. where uh, they Tony, don't know which yeah, to go yeah, Tony, Cur yeah, right, yeah, uh, Tony Curtis is in the bathroom later on when he's in the hotel. And he's in the bathtub, and he's like, oh, how are you doing? He still has all the clothes on. But this guy walks into the bathroom, and he looks at there, and he stops dead on his tracks. He goes, oh, shit, looks at the bathroom door, looks back at me, looks at the bathroom door, looks back at me. And I go, no, dude, don't worry, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he bolts into the like the stall, sits there. I go, hey dude, we're having a show. It's a charity show and a, and a performance. Yeah, um, yeah, cool. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to get tickets, you can go ahead and do that. Like, yeah, sure, that's fine. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so totally I walk back and I'm just laughing view. hysterically. I'm like. Was he checking me out? Or, uh -huh, okay, good. Uh, well, looks good. <laughs> I, I, uh, I, you kind of have a, a baby good. face <laughs> without the beard. I, I feel like the beard adds a nice bit of length <laughs> to true. your face. It, it just it reminds me of the first time I went to an anime convention, specifically Anime Boston. Yeah. Um, I think it was 2006. I went. I don't. <laughs> not really sure, but it was the first time I really understood like. Okay, this is a different this is a different world that I'm in right now because I was at the Heinz Convention Center up in Boston, had to use the bathroom, so I go into the men's room and I see just along the wall of urinals I see Nicholas D. Wolfwood, uh, Moroku from um, Inuyasha. <coughs> from Inuyasha, How many Sailor and moons? then and then Sailor Moon and Sailor Jupiter just both standing at the urinals just holding the skirts up, and I'm just like. Okay. Technically, <laughs> it is possible, place. but you have to practice. Yeah, <laughs> true, <laughs> true. Yeah, my aim's not that good. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, and there's that thing for, uh, like, if you go camping or don't want to touch a nasty bathroom, the stand up pee thing. The, true, yeah, there's yeah. a, it's the, a the funnel the thing. Yeah. yeah. It's like some, like, it's like a plastic folding thing. Yeah. The have one to go to? It has a fancy name, and I can't remember. You. Stand to pee device. The, the, la the lady Wii or something yeah. like that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't sound <laughs> fancy and sophisticated. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> well, I at this point, we know it's kind of funny that we get into this part of this scene. This is where Jerry and Joe, where they're trying to fix the chest. Like they go. Party. Well, not, not there yet, but we get into the... Um, they get into the bathroom, and this is where they meet Marilyn face to face, oh and yeah. she's sneaking bourbon. And she confides with them, saying, "Hey, you know, if I if I'm found with liquor one more time, I'll be kicked off this train in the middle of nowhere." So they're both definitely smitten immediately. <laughs> was she, why was she drinking so much? Well, she said it. She said that yeah. she was uh, basically yeah. trying. She was running away. Yeah, like she was trying to oh, drink right, her right. problems <coughs> away. Right. Um, yeah. This is the part too where I got a little confused about everything because. Okay. At this scene and the scene directly afterwards when she drops the, um, they're like doing the, 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 the dancing. The running the wild, yeah. The running wild and the flask yeah. falls down. And Jack Lemon is the one who initially takes the blame for it. And I'm like, okay, so is this the, the relationship they're trying to establish in here? And then it turns it and it gives it to Tony Curtis. And I'm like, but she's starting this rap rapport. And then, in, and then later on in the pajama party scene, she's with Jack Lemon. And then it does the Tony Curtis thing, and I'm like, well, wait. I thought mm. they were doing a love triangle. No, I, well, I didn't Th catch that. That's what it seemed like yeah. at first, but, yeah. but yeah. Jack Lemmon kind of kind of veered away from kinda it. Kind of yeah. faded into the background a little bit, and I was just like, I didn't catch the, the love triangle thing because they weren't fighting over her. There well, was they, no, well, I thought they kind of were at first. or because well, at first, the beach. at first, Tony Curtis is like, you know, stop drawing attention to us, stop drawing attention to us, and then... He kind of like looks over at Sugar and is like, "Well, hey." Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. So I didn't really catch any like jealousy or animosity between the two of them for her affection. 
Right. That's why yeah. I was a little confused about I that whole thing. I did think, you know, when they start getting into the whole making up shit, well, more shit, like the millionaire thing. Then and they went to a conservatory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, God. Yeah. I, I figured not that. I meant but when later he, on the whole millionaire guy yep. persona thing. I thought that they they started trying to screw each other a little bit. Like, oh well, so and so will be at the thing. Well, here. yeah. That's that's because. Uh, uh, at that point, Jack Lemmon's getting pissed off because he's mm. like, you're the one who said we're not supposed to draw attention to ourselves, and yet you're doing this. You're right. You're pulling this shit. Yeah. yeah. Stop well, see, it. I, I've, I've, got a, I've got an alternate take on that, too. Okay. Okay, by good. That, by yeah. that point, I think on the train, during like the whole slumber party, like 45 yeah. people in one <laughs> bunk thing. Yeah, how the fuck did that happen? <laughs> I don't it know. It's human Tetris. People, and then this girl says, hey, you got this thing? And she's like, yeah, well, I don't have it, but she does. Yeah. Hey, it's a train a car full of degenerates. Well, I'll grab the cheese and crackers. <laughs> it's like, wait, what happened? Where did yeah. all these it people just, come from? It just straight up became just like... And just then uh, nobody else catches on. Like, yeah. every, the chaperones are asleep through all and of them. And they're not even yeah. remotely quiet. Yeah. But I, I think after Who that scene... Who in a sink? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's like after that scene is when... Jack, uh, Jack Lemmon's character, Jerry, Daphne, whatever, <laughs> kind of falls into his role. Like, he might even be, like, discovering, like, okay, I think this is actually who I am kind of thing because mm -hmm. he falls so hard into the role of Daphne and just kind of sticks with it. He actually really he doesn't enjoys really, it. He doesn't really come back out of it till the very end of the movie. I would agree with you. And, and I, th I thought the same thing. I'm like, okay, this just means he's gay. Or at that point, or like he's, he's sure, just, he's yeah, just or he's just or he's just found himself. He's, yeah, he's like comfortable uh, in a women's persona, which is really neat. Yeah, yeah. like like uh, wh what I mean by that, like he kind of found, like I mean, yeah, like your words, he found himself. Yeah, yeah. well, I don't at think that he point, was really you know. in love with the the old pervy guy because unless he just was making up security as an excuse. Or yeah, or he was really drunk, and that's yeah. oh, I think maracas. he was very oh, drunk. Yeah, because <laughs> if you watch right before that, when the guy walks into his boat, he's yeah. like he's like swaying, like Whoa. he's all yeah. yeah. Yep. So yeah. They, prob they probably had a decent amount to drink. And at that point, when they you know when they arrive down uh, at the uh, in Samoa, Florida, they're at the Ritz, and you know they're all going there and they're talking about oh she's good she wants to meet an actual millionaire. And have the boats, and I think it was a great line there. Like there's all the guys with the skimmer hats and mm -hmm. or the white hats sitting on the porch, you know, looking at you know, looking at these women go by. And they're, hat. they're tipping. Thank you. Yeah, they're tipping their hats, and <laughs> they're like, row. and they're in yeah, the they're rocking yeah. chairs, just in sync with each yeah. other. Yeah, here they do. <laughs> they're looking at that one. It's like, gee, I really hope they brought their grandsons with them. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, a millionaire for the picking. Like, oh god. <laughs> oh, uh, did we uh, mention that her? Um, she has an issue with saxophone players. Yeah. Uh, well, that, well, yeah. That scene was on the train. Yeah, it was the whole. Yeah. She's, uh, right she after the party. Yeah. Right after the party, she's got a uh, yeah. a love affair with anybody who she seems to find love via saxophone player, <laughs> and every yeah. guy that she's been with has been a saxophone player, and they've all left her like high and dry, and they've always left her brokenhearted, and oh, it just so happens Tony Curtis's character. Yeah. He's a saxophone player, would you notice and that? And that's why uh, <laughs> she's joined the all-girl band. Yeah. Let's I just want to get away from those men. Yeah, funny little thing about the, uh, the the beginning of the whole slumber party thing, yeah. like the 45 mm -hmm. people in a bunk. Yeah. When Marilyn Monroe jumps in uh, into the bunk with Jack Lemmon, literally that is the only scene she got on the first take. Yeah. Right. The yeah. Yeah. only one. Yeah. And every other one, it took her 30 to, I think it said 30 to 45 takes per yeah. scene. At, at the end, when she's looking through the, the drawers looking for the bourbon, yeah. 59 takes to get yeah. the line right. And yeah. the line was in was on a chalkboard in every single one of <laughs> yeah. those drawers. Because yeah. she kept saying the wrong thing. Like, where's yeah. that bonbon? Or where's the bottle? Or where's that? Yeah. She just couldn't remember. And to the point at the end where they had her not face the camera. Right. Yep. So at the end, they like, they might have shot it differently at that point. They you said know. That it might have been, been It might have been dubbed because yeah, she possibly yeah. She she said the right line, but she wasn't looking the right way. And then ninety yeah. percent of everything else, she's reading off a cue card, and you can watch her eyes move yep. as <laughs> she's, she's reading, reading off, the board. off the cue card. Yeah, it did. <laughs> With a sign, look over it, Mar <laughs> over here. <laughs> it's like Christopher Walken on Saturday Night Live. Like over here, hey, look, keys. Look. Yeah. <laughs> the, well, the other thing I want to point out too is it. Nothing against her as an actress or anything else. She was pregnant during yeah. this yes. this movie, 
and oh, yes, all right, she yeah. was she was she had a miscarriage, but she was pregnant during this this part of the movie. Um, and anybody who might be listening who has been pregnant, there is a thing called pregnancy brain, where even if you could memorize all these lines, three seconds later, it's gone. Right, yeah. That's so the ADD, yeah. inattentive ADD works that way. Yeah, so that too. Yep. True, yep. true, yeah. And um, Not that's so true, you're right. Drunk yeah. a lot. And yeah. I mean, and she never, she didn't actually read the script. So the fact yeah. that we got. No, oh, she may well. not be the greatest actor of all time, but the fact that you got the performance out of her that you did, and she didn't know the, she didn't know her lines, pretty yeah. impressive. So who was True. better, her or um, like the Beatles and Help? Weren't they like constantly <laughs> oh, high? Oh God! Oh, that, that's still they that is all a, just be thrown into a movie. That is a great <laughs> movie. That's so good. Uh, here where they wrote it basically as they're going along. Mm-hmm. Well, here it's dedicated to the man who invented the sewing machine. <laughs> uh, they, uh, God, I love that movie. I say the title is Help, and that's basically just the, the cry from the director. <laughs> oh, God. Why did I do this? Oh, we've never been to Jamaica. Can we go there? We've never been skiing. Can we go there? Oh, like, honestly, that's how they wrote that movie. Yep. Yeah, that's really how they did that. You know, uh, I guess Adam Sandler movies aren't so bad. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty <laughs> much what he... about it now. Yeah, yeah, I have movies is an excuse for <laughs> him and his friends to go to, like, Africa or some, some nonsense. Yeah, that's, that's essentially it. That it's actually like, had a plot, though. I mean, I didn't watch it volunteer. It was just on what blended. Uh, yeah, whatever. How sad is it that I know this and yeah, yeah I actually do like that movie. Yeah. <laughs> it was just yeah, on in the background, at least three times. family yeah. thingy, yeah. and um, yeah. yeah, it had a plot. It's it's oh look, it's him and Drew Barrymore in Africa. Yeah, T- Terry Crews had a great role in that. Oh yes, I just said yes. uh, so that man can really do no wrong. No. <laughs> if it were, he just <laughs> he was just he knew he was in a crappy film, but he just kind of just rolled rolled with it. And he just like, you know what, I'm going to make this the best I ever could. Hey, why are uh, you distracted? Let's... Oh, <laughs> yeah. I f- forgot we were guests here. Yeah. Pay no attention why are you to us. Go, go, yo, dude. No, 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 you sit over there. You sit over okay. there. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so basically, we've been bouncing around this, but then, you know, they get to Miami, and then... Um, Grab the yeah, machine. So Joe gets the... Um, Joe g- gets a he gets a disguise and he steals the manager's. Um, we should specify the disguise. Yeah, because yeah. he's yeah, already Yeah, it's the manager. <laughs> yeah, it's the manager's glasses, <laughs> a a, uh, a sailor hat, a, a suit or jacket, ship yeah. captain hat. Yeah. Not like the not like a Donald Duck hat. Right. I want to oh, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. know why the manager has a sea captain's hat <laughs> in his his clothing. You know, yeah. he's got the striped it's pants. True, yeah. And he's got. The jacket's like, were you planning on going yachting while you were here? But you one other thing time. on that, too. He's about a foot I shorter know. than Tony Curtis. And he's a bit round. Yeah. Like, I mean, and it, it just hit me now. I'm like, wait a minute. It's magic. How did he fit? <laughs> Movie magic. <Yeah. laughs> How did he fit? So he's, there's a scene where they're all at the beach, and... I thought there was going to be a little bit of a uh, like uh, a little bit of uh, a nervousness there because they're all float they're all in bathing suits right, but or like it was going to be uh, you know like you know hey you know Daphne w- w- what's wrong there <laughs> like it's like why no. you have that weird bulge no oh, no reason yeah no it's well they <laughs> and you know what it's no bikinis though no bikinis so. but bikinis yeah. didn't really start becoming popular for like another three or four years after yeah. that though so <laughs> um. I hate to say it this way, but Elvis Presley movies, if you've ever seen an Elvis Presley movie that yeah. is one of his beach girl movies, there's 87,000 bikinis in them, but mm. before that, not so much. And then yeah. they, they were all like, oh, you don't have a bathing suit? Oh, we'll get a bathing suit we'll from rent the beach. Them. We'll yeah. rent them. Yeah. yeah, we'll get them. We'll the, yeah. And they yeah, were all that's wearing little. those shower cap things. Yeah. Well, yeah, because you don't want to wreck your hair. It's yeah. I guess that's what that's for. Yeah. Yeah. You know. True. Why do they call it a shower cap? Or is it well, because it's a bathing cap. Yeah. So you you can go into the ocean with it. Yeah. So yeah. old timey use of the word bathing. Right. Yeah. Right. Because because I'm gonna get really weird here. Back okay. in like the 1800s, um, you didn't go swimming. Mm. You went bathing in the sea. That's what right. they called it. Yeah. And <laughs> women's bathing suits were like full dresses yeah. with petticoat and everything else. So they weighed Heavy like material. 90 pounds when you went in. And as time has gone on, of course, they've been Shrunk. become more and more practical yeah. um, for swimming. But they didn't call it swimming. They called it bathing. So there's a bathing suit, bathing cap. That's oh. where this came from. 
There you go. Well, that's really awesome trivia. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Here, so. And I just can't help but think of the Seinfeld George Costanza. <laughs> I was in the pool line. <laughs> I really. <laughs> <laughs> it's again. It's fifty, forty years way too early for that, but <laughs> you know, still funny. Uh, we meet up. We find well. We already talked briefly about, but the guy Osgood, who's been oh, married oh, seven or eight, eight times. times, he doesn't remember oh, how yeah. many. Mother, Old man mother never approved. <laughs> mother yeah. keeps making him get divorced. Ah, uh, yeah. Because one of them was was a smoker. One was a yeah. smoker. The last one was a smoker, so he had to break up with her. And this, yeah. is, this is the guy that's the proto-William H. Macy. <laughs> <laughs> Giant mouth. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Giant mouth. You know, I, I, I like the scene where, um, you know, they're, they're in the elevator and then you see the 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 elevator go up and then it goes back down and he thinks it's spicy because you smack him in the face and then no, Osgood unhinges his jaw and tries to eat him. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I, I got. I don't know how I'm supposed to feel about these weird, this old timey kind of comedy stuff because some parts are kind of funny, but then you can remake this shit today. Cause so, some bits are a little... Seriously, sexual assault. Oh, yeah, Ew. big time. Mm, yeah. So some parts time. are problematic but nowadays. But I love the fact that he goes, like, Jack Lemmon goes back up to the room and complains yeah. that he's been pinched. I got pinched yeah. on the other one. Now you know how the other half lives. Now you know how the other half feels. I kind of yeah. thought they were going to... Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I thought they were going to learn more of a lesson like that, but instead, uh, Joe yeah. turns into a total creeper and tries to he yeah he does it. wow he was the a british guy asshole. joe yeah yeah there's oh i'm just saying me really i'm waiting for my yachts and this oh, really yeah, weird yeah. accent no. too okay speaking no. speaking as a glasses wearer yeah. those glasses that he stole from beanstalk yeah that guy's blind as a bat yeah my my prescription's pretty bad if Mine he went too. out in the if he went out in the sun with those kind of glasses his eyes would melt yes <laughs> yes it's true yes <laughs> Yeah. Uh, the one thing about that accent that he was putting on, that was Tony Curtis's um, imitation of Cary Grant. Huh. And when Cary oh. Grant found out that that's what that was, he said, "I do not sound like that." <laughs> uh, but that was that was yeah, that was Tony Curtis. Cary Grant Cary does Grant. actually. Uh, <laughs> but you know, the the whole thing kind of moves forward here now that all the plots are intertwined mm. and. I really mm -hmm. think Marilyn Monroe's lines here. I mean, you could tell she, you could tell these were retakes. Oh yeah, you know where Absolutely. she's talking to them. I didn't got, even like, think about it. Yeah, I didn't really know. I well, once I knew, I'm like, okay, that was a retake, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And they're standing around and like wearing yeah. heels while she's taking thirty plus takes to get her lines right. Yeah. yeah. By yeah. the end of the day, they had to. S the guys had to mm -hmm. soak their feet because, you know, they're not used to wearing. Hell, I'm not used to wearing heels anymore. So no, to be no. thinking about heels standing around dumb. in like yeah. ten mm. out for ten hours in heels, yeah, in like pumps, uh, no, no. no. See, my, my Why they call them pumps when they don't have that thing on the the <laughs> tongue <laughs> to pump them up? Like sneakers. to be honest, this one I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so well, see, I have a pair of boots that have a relatively thick heel, and that's bad enough. <laughs> yeah, true, true. Wait, what if you put her in a movie with Charlie Chaplin, ridiculous <laughs> perfectionist? <laughs> Oh, oh God! God. Um, I yeah. think there would be something akin to a mushroom. There would have been blood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there would have been. <laughs> 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 I would say, like, at that point, you know, the ancestors of Charlie Chaplin. I'm sorry, the descendants of Charlie Chaplin would actually still be making the movie. <laughs> <laughs> at that point, like <laughs> they, they can't, they can't do that, or Charlie would just completely rewrite it and just say screw it. Well, a little bit of trivia yeah. about that part too. Um, speaking of Charlie Chaplin, because yeah. in my brain, Charlie Chaplin went black and white. Yeah. The reason this movie was black and white, it's actually against. One, yeah. yeah, it was against Marilyn Monroe's contract to do a movie in black and white. Hmm. Um, the director had to convince her to do it because the makeup that they used on Jack Lemmon. Uh, and Tony Curtis actually turn their skin like a greenish tinge <laughs> because yeah. it's because yep. it's so pronounced makeup. It's it's theater it's makeup. It's like theater yeah. makeup rather than. Was movie it made right. of lead? Honestly, well, that's Probably. what they used to use <laughs> uh, in black and white <laughs> movies. They would instead of painting lips red, they would paint them like black because it showed up better on, right, on film. Yeah, yeah. So they used. 
film makeup on them, and so they convinced her it'll look better in black and white. So that's why it's in black and white. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, mm. so in person, <coughs> when when they film black and white movies in person, the whole thing just looks like the Adams family. Yeah, but pretty much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of white cake powder and a lot of black <laughs> lipstick and eyeliner. Yeah. <laughs> and just, pic- good look. just picturing somebody like an Uncle Fester going, "You must love me." <laughs> <laughs> I'm picturing me dressed up as silent film guy like I do for Halloween. <laughs> You do awesome with that. This is why Marilyn Manson would actually work in this situation. I'm telling you, it it changes the whole movie. Yeah, (laughs) the I want to hear a little more on this one. I I had a few ideas trying to say that I'm trying to go through this one. It's like every other character just acts like it's still Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, Yeah. it's just nothing else changes. Just (laughs) him. Oh God, there'll be stars <laughs> in the dub show. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, back on track, everybody. Yeah. You know, so at this point, you know, they get back to the hotel. They're, um, you know, it's you know, why don't you, you know, why are you doing this? I want to do this. Too bad they'll never know. Well, you dump girls and leave them anyway. What's the difference? We all know he's gonna do. He's gonna find some way to fall in love with her. Mm-hmm. They have a date. They uh, have a show. They invite him. Uh, the uh, Osgood has a boat, and he wants to invite Daphne on. And then you know, so I'll tell him you're sick, and you know, go you'll you'll throw up on the boat. And then Will use the boat, and he has to put the boat in reverse to take her out to it. Because he can't figure out how to put it <laughs> put it in. Oh, it seems to be stuck. No, this is a new model. It (laughs) goes backwards. Trust me. Yeah, this is pretending to be Uh. the... It, um, Shell Oil. Yeah, yeah. Shell, Shell Oil, oil Jr. <laughs> 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 to trick her in what? Trick her into sex? Yeah. That is so I, horrible. It, it's, it's <laughs> well, it gets convoluted here it gets a little bit. It's really convoluted because <laughs> he's uncomfortable. It gets very <laughs> uncomfortable. And at the same time, I want to know somebody who can lie that well, My God. that fast. Yeah. I without know. any pauses or um. Nothing. He's just <laughs> rolling it off the tongue. Well, you know, I did this Improv well, champ. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, my darling, you know, I just, uh, uh, women don't have anything with it for me. I'm like, okay. That was yeah. the ultimate hard so to get. So now we're coming Wait. off his ace? Y- yeah. <laughs> the other thing, too, about this part is um, one of the first scenes where he had to dress as a woman, um, uh, Tony Curtis, he was actually doing four days a week, he was doing. Um, he was in psych, you know, psychiatrist's like ana- office. He was, stuff, yeah, right? analysis is what yep. they called it. Um, so he didn't even want to be pulled out of his dressing room dressed as a woman at this point. So when he starts talking about um, being seen by doctors and stuff, that's actually a little bit closer to home than they actually, I think, meant to write. Oh. Because he was actually in therapy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wait, didn't Jack wow. Lemmon have to, like, physically drag him out of yes, his trailer? Yes, Jack Lemmon had yes. to physically drag him out yeah. to, to do this. So wow. Yeah, it was actually a little closer to home when oh he was talking damn. about Why going to see doctors. Take the job. or Because it's money. You're yeah. con- at that point, especially in Hollywood at that point, you are contracted. If yeah. you, if you yeah. The studio you, owns you. The studio owns you. Yeah. Even if you don't want to make the movie, you have to. You, you yeah. signed on for three it, yeah. movies. You have to do those three movies. Yeah, and it wasn't like, oh, yeah, I'll pick that up, or an agent offered you the so script, you read it, and then thought. said yes or no. It was, hey, you're doing this you're movie. You're doing this movie. Yeah. Yeah. We want you for this movie. It yeah. wasn't a audition type thing. It wasn't a decision thing. at all, no. no. Well, you're, uh, you, they did an audition just to confirm their right. thoughts, but then they just kind of went along with it yeah. uh, in rare time there. But the, you know, the this is where it does get a little bizarre, but they're on the boat, and I think, they wrote, I think they wrote that scene just to have Marilyn kiss somebody mm-hmm. and just to have it, because it's on YouTube, there's the trailer. Half of that trailer is the kiss mm-hmm. scene. And that's a long-ass kiss scene. Yeah. There's so many elements to it. True, it's true. Like, it's like they stop and pause, and then they do it again, and then they pause, and they do it again, and then they pause, <laughs> and they switch to Jack Lemmon, and then they come back, and they're still yeah. making out. It's it like... I'm sure that's one of those scenes that uh, Tony Curtis wasn't altogether broken up with. You know, <laughs> yeah. Having to do multiple oh, takes. W- w- really? Yeah. Yeah. And at that point, yeah, he's on his back. Right. Yep. Yeah. Okay. You always script line. Okay. Fine. You know, I'll just, I'll just wait. You know, the um, it goes back and forth, and I then you know. I, I would have, um, if they were ever going to somehow for some reason remake this, I, they would totally have to make this relationship like an accident or 
Yeah. I think they Tootsie did it better. They basically oh, did yes. I don't remember. They yeah. basically did remake this. It's called She's the Man. Oh, yeah. That was yeah, a while ago. <laughs> that, it, it, that but oh, my God. That did cross the line. <laughs> tricking someone into sex. I mean, fucking hell. That's yeah. It's like, no, they, ne- like they never straight up said that the two of them did anything oh on the I boat. Know, but it's heavily whoa. implied, but the that's intent. still, well, yeah. but that's that's still that not okay. At that point in, in, again, in dated times, yeah. you don't actually say you're going to have sex at that point. Right. It's yeah. just a it's romantic just evening. It's not sexual assault. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, rapes, you know, less syllables to say. Right. Or, uh, or yeah. sex or whatever. Yeah. Both of them. True, true. But yeah, he's he's up to no good. Yeah, he's really weird. And then you get the back and forth, and that's the the weirder he's parts. But he, he had a tragic uh, lover die story. Was it something like that? Something yeah. like that. And that he yeah. just can't get it up anymore. I guess. Yeah, the <laughs> that basically Hard it. To get. So it worked. Yeah. So the it gets to the point now. They get back to the hotel room. He sneaks back in How after the second that? night. That was pretty impressive. Yeah. And then the weirder parts where, you know, he's the speaking bubble? with, no, he's speaking with the Daphne. He's like, oh, I'm engaged. I'm going to marry Osgood. And then basically. I, I want to talk about the bubbles, though. Okay. He was, I- I- they were talking, um, and then they didn't know he was already there. And he was already there in the tub, in the wig. And not only. O- it was the tub was oh full right, of bubbles. Yeah, it's yeah. like, wait, how do you get all that shit done? And then that unless tub you plan it, fast. something else happened like that later on yeah. too in a specific He's scene where mobsters are chasing other people and they're suddenly they're going up an elevator and then three seconds later they're coming down an elevator and they're fully in garb. <laughs> I mean, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, apparently we got teleportation happening mm-hmm. here. And magic. And when yeah. sugar's out of the out of the room. He rises out of the tub and he's still in the, he's uh, still in the, the, the captain's clothes. suit and I he looks he looks mad. I as will fuck. say before he goes out, yeah. he does fill the tub. Yeah. There's a scene yeah. with him filling the tub. It doesn't fill with, with bubbles, but it does he does put water in the tub. See, when yeah. when he was standing up out of the tub like that, I was having Undertaker flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> that was, was like, crazy. oh no, he's the dead man. <laughs> he looked really menacing in that wig and suit covered in bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, now uh, had yeah, a real yeah. Norman Bates moment going yeah. on there. <laughs> Uh, that so was the, just yeah, awesome acting there. There's uh, there's several scenes like that too that are really weird. Like when he runs, he runs back from the show as Josephine, and then immediately wipes off all his makeup completely clean right. with one rag. And you know it was really good camera trickery. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but he he does everything well. Um, and then sets up everything and just walks out there. But the, there's like, oh, I'm engaged. I want to be able to do this. And then he convinces um, Jack Lemon to not marry. But he says, oh, well, we'll just marry and then I'll tell him. You know, kind of foreshadowing the ending. But an yeah, I'll tell him when it's the right time. And then I'll just get an annulment. I'll get a huge cash settlement out of this. <laughs> Before that, he was saying, just like, but you can't get married. Why not? It's like, you're a guy. He's a guy. And I'm sitting there going, well, now they can. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Yeah. When did that happen? Yeah. Wait, what? Wait. Future talk. Don't worry about it. Yeah. We're not. We're not ruining the timeline. No. Nah. Not like we haven't done anything anyway. (laughs) (laughs) So, uh, so they have the Friends of the Italian Opera Conference. (laughs) 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 Fucking awesome. Funny about opera. Ah, my God. And, And I work for. A, uh, I work for a major hotel chain, and I see a lot of hotel groups that come in, and they all have funny things. And um, like one uh, happened that it was Dan. You might remember this with the um, uh, the Ever Next conventions in I, Florida. I vaguely remember those. No, <laughs> this was. Uh, I'm thinking. I'm just thinking in my line. If I have somebody. You know, call, make a reservation. You know, yeah, I want to book the Italian, the friend Italian's opera over here. And just speaking to somebody, wait, wait well, I need to give you a credit card. Look, I'm going to pay cash. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to get what I got to get here. I still have, you know. I still have flashbacks about watchtower rates. Yeah, you no, know, it's happening right now. Yeah. But the, um, the ever next convention, I got this guy one time who said that I'm like, okay, I got to ask you before I move on. What is this convention all about? And he says, oh, we're all a bunch of internet adult webmasters. 
<laughs> oh, Jesus. You all hear it, and he goes, and then he did this. He went, <laughs> oh, oh, shoot, my teeth fell out. <laughs> <laughs> exactly the kind of person you expect to run one of those sites. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, my God, man, that's great. And oh, man, my teeth fell in my <laughs> soda. <laughs> <laughs> my big gulp. <laughs> That's an ultra gulp, too. It's way down there. Oh, God. <laughs> It'd be like Parks and Recreation with the 512 ounce soda. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you, have a, you have a small silo of soda. <laughs> <laughs> you just drag it in and then <laughs> just drag it in the building. <laughs> so they have the uh, Spats and his gang are here. They recognize Jerry and Joe. And they witness the murder, so they're fearing for their lives. So they quit. And this is the point where you mentioned, you know, they uh, they run away and they really run away as guys. They come back as women to try to get away. And very Looney Tunes this part. Oh, so very much so. It's yeah. very um, running down this hallway and then <laughs> running back the other hallway, and suddenly just they're, you know they're running between doors. And I knew where you were gonna go. So. It just needed the yellow submarine door sequence. <laughs> We, need, we needed the Scooby yeah. <laughs> Scooby Doo sequence. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Everybody chasing everybody, then they're chasing the mobsters, and they get confused, turn around, <laughs> run back. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> this, was that? Yellow, well, I mean, yellow submarine was first. Yeah, yellow oh, submarine did it okay. first, and then like Scooby Doo kind of rammed it into the ground. And uh, then Muppet Babies did yeah, it too. Yeah, yeah, I yes. remember that. Yeah, the um, oh no, the song. Oh so no. uh, <laughs> Joe has got to break Sugar's heart, tell her that he's gonna marry a woman, which in Venezuela. Yeah, this was <laughs> really like, like, fuck, man, like. When did he yeah. have a change of heart to give a crap about her? Exactly. Yes. It was unearned. So exactly. He's, he's gone yeah. from a creep, and then suddenly he's a decent guy. It's like, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. You don't get to be a good guy now. Yeah. He, 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 Jack, Lev Jack Lemon even calls him out. He's like, yeah. no, 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 no. This yeah. is not what you do. Yeah. You don't like, do dude. this. Yeah. And, and then, then you he gave away Jack my Lemon's bracelet. Yeah, yeah. He steals his bracelet. It's like, yeah. oh, you, you scumbag. Yeah. At least keep the bracelet. Go hawk it. Yeah. And there are several shots where, you know, it's like it's pandering to the audience who's probably going to watch this. You know, where Marilyn's reading a magazine and there's a focus shot of her legs. Right. You know, and you, you know, it's like, oh, wait, it's the sailor. Or, and, you know, she takes the call and she faked some sort of sadness at this point i think I she was worse later <laughs> you know when she went in the room looking for bourbon oh yeah she's crying i mean she's she's crying in the scene while she's on the phone she's trying to she's hide trying it. to yeah, cry you could see like they they put like i don't know the the fake teardrops in the uh, it was cries. obvious there and yeah it's, it's like a yeah. guy in the corner it's with like a spray you bottle need, it's like there honey, you're sad honey you need to cry here <laughs> yeah. no no i can't cry here no yeah no. like the director just called cut somebody just had a beaker but like I said, you've <laughs> known him for 12 hours. You're in love with him. Go. Yeah. See, I still like the intern with a spray bottle like she's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the, um, they witnessed the mob killings. And, uh, oh, out of a birthday cake, yeah. too. Yeah, that, that, Is that one. Is that where she got the birthday cake <laughs> song? <laughs> I, just, I was wondering that myself. I was like, uh, wait, when did that I got happen? I an wait. idea. <laughs> Except she didn't have a Tommy gun. <laughs> no, that would have so made this would have been a gr a better statement, I think, with the Tommy gun. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. So Joe is dressed as Josephine. He sees Sugar on stage. He runs up and kisses her. She doesn't understand kisses that this is yet. Joe. <laughs> uh, no, no, don't worry, honey. I'll never love again. Like, Josephine, wait. And then suddenly, it's like she puts everything together. With an audible clunk, you hear her. You hear the gears kind of <laughs> go into place, and she's like, "Woo, not gay." <laughs> I, would, I would just like to point out before this happened, before uh, yeah. the mob get together, before the I'm not sure why they gave the main mobster a hearing aid. I, I thought that was a bit <laughs> weird. Um, why before that when they're all when the maps <laughs> the mobsters first find out that. Um, that Daphne and Josephine are the, the two witness. guys who are the witnesses, <laughs> yeah. and they're chasing them. At one point, and um, they run into uh, one of the older millionaires' room, who's in a wheelchair, yeah. and they steal his wheelchair, what his clothing, and the oh bellhop's yeah. clothing. What the did bellhop, they do to them? The bellhop is actually like 
a, a very tiny man who's been hitting on Joe this whole time. Oh, yeah. Was he uh, a teen? I, I don't know. Yeah. I, th- I, I think he might have been. I don't know. But he's been hitting on him the whole time. And suddenly he runs out, and it's Jack Lemon dressed in the bellhop uniform, which, honestly, they made it look a little shorter, yeah. but it fits him a little too well. <laughs> and he's running around in heels. <laughs> he's running around still wearing the high heels. <laughs> and, and that's how they get caught, is because Jack Lemon is still wearing high heels. Yeah, see, wi- with the costume change, I- I'm watching that, and all I can think is, I've played this level in Hitman. <laughs> 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 you know, there's that, and then they get caught, and then they get, you know, they run into the, you know, the opera uh, convention, convention, yeah, where you know, basically, it's a mob convention, or a consigli, no, what is it called? Uh, consigliere. No, that's that's the guy who who talks for you. Okay. Yeah. Oh Christ. Capo. A, f- a flock of mobs. Oh, there yeah. is there is an actual word. It's a for murder it. of mobs. I can. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember what the actual word well, is a, for it's it. It's a bludgeoning of thugs. <laughs> 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 there's this meeting, and then suddenly there's the main guy whose name is escaping me. Yeah. Who's, the, who's the, like best friends with the toothpick the tooth guy. Yeah. Oh, um, with Charlie. Um, yeah. With Charlie. The, the, guy with the, the guy with the hearing. No, 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 the no. guy with the hearing aid. The guy with the hearing aid is like the main mobster. He's like the big guy. The name is like Salvatore or something. I've probably got it wrong. He's calling it's him. It's Little Bonaparte. Little Bonaparte. Yep. Yeah. There yes, we go. Little Bonaparte, which is actually supposed to be. I remember reading the trivia. It was supposed to be like a callback to Mussolini. But anyway, right, yeah. um, you've got little Bonaparte, and he's... I don't know why they gave this guy a hearing aid, because in real life, the man did not need one. So yeah. it, looks like he's wearing, it looks like he's wearing a headphone in yeah. one ear, and he, he's constantly putting the volume up to hear people, and I'm still trying to figure out why that was a thing. This flavor, I guess. I, I guess. Or maybe there was like some big mob boss who did have a hearing aid. Maybe I don't know who it would be, but... Call on people in the back of the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, breaker one nine, breaker one nine. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got, and you've got the two people. You've got the two guys, the two witnesses hiding under the table this whole time, and they're being mentioned right. by the main mob boss, saying, "You guys let those two guys go again, yeah. again." again. Yeah. And there's the two of them are under there, like we're yeah. gonna die. <laughs> Yeah, and like shit just got real. And you know they're gonna die here, and then he he uh, the guy pops out of the cake, you know, with a Tommy gun, shoots lo- shoots all of them. Shoots the the Chicago guys. Yeah. they shoot the five Chicago Bats. guys. Yeah, Keep the change, you filthy animal. <laughs> That's what I thought of right away. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, ten. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then, awful can, movie. but I, I, yep. my whole thing too is okay. You're running this this big, you know, mob get together, and it's like you're getting all the factions together, and then suddenly you're gonna kill five people in a banquet hall, right? In a hotel that is full of guests, and you know that there's a police officer. <sighs> Outside, and you know right. that specifically, the world's best undercover agent <laughs> yeah. is, sta- is in the damn lobby. Yeah. No way that could be an accident. I would yeah. really like to know where the logic was when they wrote this scene. Did they just like we need to wrap up this mob thing, so let's do this? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, that's a pretty cake. Yeah, you know, I'm not leaving until I get the recipe. <laughs> I so promised a piece of it to my kids. And yeah. yeah, I thought that was funny. Yeah, that yeah, that was a good line. line. That was. <laughs> Kind of brought me back to analyze this. Yes. Yeah, you know, I'm like, oh, purple. Where, where is, where is he now? Wait, is the cake uh, assassination a trope? Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. From this movie, or were they just echoing it? I think oh, they were echoing it because it was in, uh, it was in a couple of '20s films too. Oh, it was also, okay. it was also yeah. like Dancing Girls in a Cake, and yeah, and that's yeah. where the, uh, yeah. that's where the Adams Family joke came. It's just like, was she in there <laughs> before you baked? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. The um we'll just wrap this one up here. Um so it all wrapped it all starts ending here. You know, they're chasing around the around the uh hallways of the of the hotel. Uh you know, they get onto the boat and basically he's gonna go uh they're gonna go to Osgood, gonna get married. And, you know, Joe tells Sugar it's not good enough is that he um you know, he's there, so it'll be the fuzzy end of the lollipop, which was always a confusing phrase. Yeah, like uh, you just stick it in your pocket. Yeah, Ew. I get the fuzzy end of the lollipop. I always get the, you know, I always dirty. get the fuzzy end of the lollipop. Yeah, you're no kidding, right? <laughs> uh, the uh, you know the and the ending line. I I was 
with my grandmother earlier, and she told me, she says, the final scene, I won't tell you, but you're going to fall off your couch mm-hmm. laughing. And Jerry it finally gets to Osgood saying that he can't get married, raising, ranging from you know reasons such as, I natural. smoke, <laughs> I'll never have children. We can adopt. I'm not yeah. a natural blonde. Yeah. That's okay, I don't mind. Here, I'm a man. Well, nobody's well, perfect. Nobody's perfect. The end. The end. <laughs> there, I died. Like, I lost it. Like, that was awesome. Yeah, I already yeah. heard about a movie with that as the end, so I, I was now like, oh, it's this one. Yeah. Now, if the movie went on for five more minutes, you would have found out it got real dark because below decks on that yacht <laughs> is just like a Fifty Shades fifty shades Darker pleasure room. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> what if this room turns out with a pie? I have a thing with a bunch of pleasure. Turns out it was a bunch of shells all along. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh crap, I could have done that. <laughs> I would like to see the um uh, an always sunny in Philadelphia version of this. Yes. Cuz the whole yacht thing. Oh, a lot, a lot of guys <laughs> would take advantage. Uh, it just reminded me of what's his face in that show. Frank Reynolds? No, no, he was talking about, "Oh, you, you got to get a girl alone on the boat so she's scared." Oh, Dennis. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Halfway creepy, but he did come up with it. He did get his come up with it. So they, they all they could do, do anyway. Like a, a real black comedy version of <laughs> yeah. all of the shit. And uh, yeah, yeah, true, true. Well, um, the, ho- the whole come up and thing about you know getting <coughs> your just desserts reminds me years ago. Uh, br- uh, I was on a date with a girl. Went to a, went to see a scary movie. I don't remember which one it was. Figuring she would get scared and end up clinging to me. Yeah. No. Nah. No, went the other way. <laughs> no. I am no good with horror movies. <laughs> I was going to say, too, when you, when you were here with Halloween, we had this long talk about you yep. with scary movies, too. I am not good with I scary movies. I remember that. Uh, well. It is so funny because he jumps and I start laughing. <laughs> oh, you remember me screaming watch, uh, watching Halloween when, uh, when Chino came out of the darkness and just licked my hands like, oh, God. That was a, that <laughs> was from a, the darkness. That was a great, that was a great story. All right. Turn the yeah, lights you just so live it. I love it. Have to hey, turn the lights on hey. to take a lap. <laughs> uh, oh. where's where's the machine? Yeah. Well, I guess that saves us having to move. Oh, right, huh? oh, wait, wait, look. <laughs> oh, it's just still, it's right. There's still. What? Hey, what you're, you're still describing? trying to drag it away. No, we're not. Yeah. Uh, hey. I don't know what you're talking about. They made yeah, a part. Yeah, I, I got this one for you. No. Uh, they made it farther than I would have okay. thought. We didn't even Before hear you it. Before do anything, yeah. you gotta hit the buttons, and then they they won't be any of the wiser. Okay. And then we will. Uh, how do you make this work? Ah, oh, don't worry. I got something for you. Hang on a minute. Hold on. All right, boss. <gasps> let me tell you. Oh, no, no, actually, I'll try to go ahead and come through here. Here, we've been tracking you both for quite a long time, so I've got you there. It. Yeah, you called me Sue. Let me well, tell you, I'm... No, your Sarah. name was Sarah. Your fake name was Sarah. You are the worst narc ever. Well, I'll you tell need you... You to go back to narc school. Well, no, I'm about to go ahead and take you two back for, times to, for having several years of marinara on us. We've been tracking you for years. You know, someday they are going to legalize marinara, and, and that won't be a problem... This is not fair. Well, we're going to go ahead and call our Senator Jeff Sessions to go ahead and help you not legalize marinara because he's going to be a powerful man someday. He's making sure that we go ahead and have that. This is YouTube gold. Wait, wait. He knows things from the future. Where have you here now? Jeff Sessions will take care of that, so don't worry about it. Wait, wait. How does he know that shit? All right. I think we have boss. I'm going to go ahead and take care of you right now. That guy that in the future, weird, yeah. I think. No, actually, you declared though. Jeff Sessions was a senator, and he was actually a politician in 1959. So, ah. yeah. I, was gonna say, I, th- I thought he was going to be in league with the cowboy guy from <laughs> yeah. uh, Blazing Saddles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> true, true. I, I uh, guess he, he was a mystical elf who lived mm-hmm. centuries, maybe. <laughs> true. Wait, that's that's the one, right? Why yeah. Is, why is the dragnet theme stuck in my head now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't. We didn't get to find out what happened to the uh, the marinara advocate. Yeah. Well, you know, I'd say yeah, well, th- we should have told him it was legalized in this state at least. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> you know, 
Sometimes you got to have it medicinally in order to add some things and calm the stomach down because mm. it is a very tasty sauce, don't you agree? Yeah. Yeah. Can, can you get it in stores yet? Not yet, no. Not yet. It's like no. Later this year, right? If yeah. If you have an ulcer, you shouldn't. I don't no, you shouldn't do it. No, no. No. Oh, uh, no. well. You had some fantasy casting here. You said Marilyn yeah, Manson that too. Was, that yeah. was pretty much. That was pretty much it. My yeah. fantasy casting to just to completely change the entire feel <laughs> of the movie is replace Marilyn Monroe <laughs> with Marilyn Manson, <laughs> Brian Warner himself, <laughs> and just Jamie Farr. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, but like probably from Mash era. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could, to me, the only person I would <laughs> actually really want to keep in this movie is Jack Lemmon. He's yeah. the only person I would want to keep. Everybody else to me is interchangeable. I just True. like him in this movie. He was True. Like, to I me, always he was like pretty Jack damn Lemmon. perfect yeah. in this. Yeah. Yeah, he just kind of fell into his role and just kind and of fell just, in love with it. He just ran he, with he it. He became Daffy. Yes. Yeah. I would like to see if you redid this just for a weird scenario to have these have them all be teenagers. And see what would happen, like if it was on, on like a band trip or something. If it was on like a summer break, yeah. Can we okay. reverse the? I'd reverse the sexes too. Yeah, I, I know would. What yeah. You're getting yeah. yeah, I would yeah. reverse then the then sexes. And it's American like Pie Band Camp, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Well, have you ever but seen American Pie Band Camp? Uh, yeah. Yes, you've you've watched it several okay. times. Okay, so yeah. then no. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you if you get a nosebleed, you put you t- you pretend tampons are for nosebleeds. <laughs> you get me. If yeah. it works. <laughs> no, you know, talking like about the movie, I'm thinking. Yes, it I am. Yeah. That's the joke. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. that's the joke. <laughs> Honestly, and it, it, it scares me in real life that might actually work. Yeah, true. They are true. absorbent. Yeah. Wait, wait, they have menstrual cups, so what if they put them in little ones for your nose? <laughs> <laughs> One for each nostril. Yeah. <laughs> 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 nonsense. Uh, wow. <laughs> Wow, wow, well, it's just yeah. I would like to see those sexes reversed. Yeah, I would. Uh, I, I would yeah. totally enjoy yeah. One of those. Yeah, yeah. Well, one of those really like dumb men and you know a dumb guy, and then you know girls trying to be guys. Yep. It basically, was the just Amanda the Bynes binding, movie. Yeah, the binding of the breasts alone. Yeah. You need help with that if True. you've ever if you if you are like me who are a, is a bit well endowed and dressing like a boy. Binding hurts. Yeah, and I've done I'd it. imagine. Oof. I, I was about to say, I, I'm not sure you can tame those. <laughs> it takes a. It takes like duct tape. Ooh, oh God! God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it takes it takes um yeah. like uh, ace that bandages and duct. Tape. I heard that's real bad to use. You know, it crush that your thud ribs. You heard was my entire body clenching. Don't yeah. don't use Saran wrap. Don't use no ace. Those uh, I don't know. Yeah. A couple of sports bras that looks okay. Yeah. That's what you usually have to use when you do the when we go to on Halloween, right? I yeah. Well, I just kind of use a. I mostly just get l- maybe one in a vest because yeah. there's like three layers. And yeah, there's enough layers for I us to survive when in I w- Salem during the play. Yeah. When I w- when I played Francis. Yeah. Oh, it's been fun too. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, wow. Well we had good chemistry. We did. Yeah, <laughs> we did at that point. <laughs> wow. I, we should probably dig up that DVD at some Aww. point just to see. I was just curious <laughs> how weird it was. Still, We got a bunch of them somewhere. Probably s- do we still? Or? At least w- at least w- one. Yeah, yeah. Maybe if you find it, it could be a Patreon reward. <laughs> <laughs> Seven oh, more Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Rich and yeah. Lord, yeah. That's still Easy. weird. All right, so it's episode 50 Woo! that we've been doing 50 in a row, uh, along with other random ones. So next week, a uh, very, very special one. You might one. call it a real gem. Yeah. <laughs> we have The Treasure of the Sierra Madre starring Humphrey Bogart. And um, next week's episode will be on the 70th anniversary of the release of the movie. So That's impressive. Um, and, you know, if all goes well with it, we're actually going to go see this tomorrow in the theater. So nice. this should be really, really oh, fun. Are you going to go watch it with your grandma? Yeah, I think we'll figure out some way to pull it all off. So. Oh, okay. Uh, so I think we'll wrap up now. So we'll see where we are. Thank you guys for coming Any around again, too. Yeah, yeah. Time. Should we just, uh, just a one a- analysis question. Okay. But okay, with comedy, 
where's the line between, okay, I can suspend my disbelief versus this is stupid? I mean, it depends, <coughs> for me anyway, it depends on the tone that they've set in the movie so far. Right. Like, if they're going for this is goofy, weird nonsense, then I can, my suspension of disbelief can go pretty damn far. Like the whole elevator thing? The elevator, like, well, okay, the first elevator thing where it went up and then it was like, kind of like the, 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 it went halfway the and arrow went down, was like yeah. kind of like a boner joke almost and it came back down. Oh, yeah. not that, I mean the that whole I, that quick That I can change. get, but the quick change teleportation thing, it's like, you went Looney Tunes real yeah. quick and you've been kind of set in reality for a little while. You see, maybe. So it was a little jarring. See, I'm a little, I'm a little off on that one because you started the movie off with the mozzarella funeral home. <laughs> yeah. And at that point, I was out. It's like, oh, okay, I don't have to take any of this seriously. Right, okay. You know, you've got a speakeasy inside of a, a funeral home that you can't hear this huge party going on. And I want to know, if you look at the outside of the building, I want to know where they got the room for yeah. the rest of it. So my suspension of disbelief right there was like, anything goes in this it's movie. It's a TARDIS. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it would have been another thing if he walked down a flight of stairs or something and mm. it was underground. That would have made sense. But no, he just opens a sliding door and suddenly he's there. It's like, no, no, okay. Yeah, is that comedy or laziness? It's lazy. Listen, ah. Okay, I, I can I can counter back with <coughs> shortly before this weird teleportation, Scooby Doo, Yakety Sack <laughs> scene. Woo, I want Five men were gunned down in cold blood. Seven, actually, but Sorry, yes. Seven men were gunned down in cold blood. It's a little dark. It, oh, yeah. it's very dark. So yeah. we got a little bit of mood whiplash going on. Ah, you've read TV Tropes, huh? I have spent many an hour on TV Tropes. Yep. I have the app. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he falls down a rabbit hole sometimes, yeah. and that's it. Yep. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, it's like weird. getting Rickrolled, but you're stuck all day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, uh, I think um, with the comedy itself, I mean, I can obviously I agree with Jocelyn. It's, it starts off, it doesn't take itself seriously, no. so you can... You can uh, excuse some of those things, yeah. And I think what they're trying to show is it's just done so quick, you right. know. Like they're so scared out of their minds that they they went through so fast, right? You know, they went through they were through the clothes so fast, did the makeup, did everything, and then walked out, you know, as the the female versions of themselves. But there's a lot of cartoony points to this movie itself, like how they figure out that those are the two guys by opening up the, the case of the base and finding four bullet holes. Right. You know, oh, these must these are the guys. Really? How? You didn't, yeah. How did you pay attention to yeah. anything they had on them right. in that 30 seconds where you saw them? Yeah, and, and it's you, just... And yeah. how do you know those aren't speed holes in the base? <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> <I know. laughs> True. And, you know, it just reminds me, there's this uh, <laughs> bit from this comedian who's he, off and on, he's funny, but there's this guy, John Mulaney, who says it is like, you know, he's like, I was having a conversation with my friends the other day, and the guy randomly asked me, he says, Hey, would you kill Hitler? And I said to myself, No, because Hitler is dead. <laughs> he's like, What if you saw Hitler walking down the street? Would you kill him? He's like, Well, I'm not sure that that's Hitler. I might just kill an old man who happens to look like Hitler, right. and then I just kill an old man. And now I'm a murderer. Yeah, yeah now I'm a murderer. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, yeah, yeah. I just go find shit. Buddha and shoot him. Yeah, it's it's still like th there there are points where it, it's supposed to be silly. Like you have the the second hand yeah the second hand mobster like uh, what was that you know are we were you with you at Regalos we with you at, re at Regalitas <laughs> yeah well, yeah yeah it, yeah it became like a Max and Bugsy type thing right. yeah like, yeah so uh, next week Treasure of Sierra Madre we will have my grandmother. On the sh on the show with us, and that's going to be a great one. A Sounds little night, yeah. The ninety-two-year-old lady finally agreed to be on the podcast with us, so <laughs> this but is going to be fun. That's yeah. going to be like one of those phone recording things, right? It'll be at her house. Yeah. So yeah, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be back to the original format until we get done this, with this straightened out. Weather. Yeah, we'll get this. Uh, I can't say as I blame her. Yeah, <laughs> right. We'll get this um, studio thing straightened out. So. Uh, once we do, we'll be back in here. We'll keep you updated. Uh, for now, all of our stuff will be posted directly on our Facebook page Wait, instead um, of on 59 Media. Whose Facebook page? Because I have a Cas Fox and page. The, the yeah. movie theater time machine page. Oh, okay. We so have oh, Bob handles that. Yeah, Wait. I do. Oh, you handle that. Yeah. Okay. So everything Bob's will be on there. So then we'll work. You know, we'll work our way through that. So. 
Um, I guess we'll wrap this one up now. So, I'm going to hear unless somebody has something else there. No, no, so no good. All right. I already discussed how it could be made um, better, like, for now, you know, relationship would have to be an accident and not a per- or he has to somehow general genuinely evolve and feel s- bad and or be forced to try to trick her for some convoluted reason right yeah but just going out to trick her is right yeah, sure. creepy yeah it was weird yeah. problematic uh, yeah. yeah so yeah. Sign of the we'll leave with that so all right so we'll leave it to now here be good take care of yourselves but don't be too good and thank you eric for giving us a chance